Hey boys and girls, my name is Regina Rejoice. Can you say that with me? Regina Rejoice, and I'm a YouTuber. And today, my YouTube video is going to be a makeup challenge. So let's get to it. See, I'm gonna put some over here, and I'm gonna put some over, yes? Regina, grandma's ready for you. Oh no, I've gotta get ready fast. Okay, okay. Huh? Huh? What happened? Did someone turn out the lights? Oh my goodness, Regina, what? You have glitter all over your face. And the boys and girls are here. Boys and girls, we are so excited that you're here with us today for our brand new series called Subscribe Now. We are learning all about Jesus and what he came to teach us. And if you're new, we're so excited that you're here. We send out mail to all of our friends. We send special things in that mail. We do not send glitter. Thank <laughs> goodness. <laughs> we send letters, we send prizes, we send color sheets. You're gonna love it, boys and girls. And all you gotta do if you wanna be on that list is text in your name and the word new to the number on the screen. Regina, we need to get you cleaned up so we can properly introduce you to the boys and girls. Boys and girls, we hope you enjoy our brand new series called Subscribe Time. Now. guys, my name is Regina Rejoice. Do you want to say that with me again? Regina Rejoice. And welcome back to my channel. Last week we learned what a YouTuber is. Do you know what a YouTuber is? That's just so right. A YouTuber posts their entire life online. We do fun videos, we do vlogs, we review stuff. It's such a great time. Last week I had a problem and I really appreciate you helping me out with that. But the number one thing that YouTubers like you to do, like their videos, that watch their videos, that's all great. But we want you to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Oh, oh no. I broke the big idea button. How are we gonna know what kind of video to post today? I don't know what to do. Oh no, what's that? It's okay? Are you sure it's broken? I promise I will fix it if you will forgive me. You will? Okay, I'll leave it right here and, and you guys go to your first song and I'll try and fix it, okay? Okay, bye.
Hi, boys and girls. My name is Ms. Chastity, and I want to welcome you to the second week of our brand new series, Subscribe Now. I love this series. It's really, really easy for us to subscribe online, right? And have this maybe ingenuine connection with someone. But in this series, we're going to be talking about how we can follow Jesus or subscribe to him and how we can have true connection in real life. Did you guys meet my cousin, Regina? You did? Oh no, what's that look for? Did she do something naughty? She did what? She broke the big idea button? Where is it? Over, over here, okay. Oh no. She sure did break it. Okay, let's see. Not very handy, but I'll try and fix it. So put that there. Maybe if I plug this in, do you think it'll still work? Should I try it? Okay, do it with me. I'm a little scared. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, can't, oh, wait a second. That's not the big idea at all. Okay, boys and girls, let's try it one more time. I think the button is still, let's tweak this right here. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ugh, phew, that is the big idea. We can know forgiveness through Jesus. That's right, boys and girls. Now, that big idea says something really cool in it. Forgiveness, right? Now, if you don't know about Jesus and you, maybe you've never heard about him before, we talk about him a lot here because he is the true savior of the world. And he came to earth as a baby. We talked about that at the Christmas. And once he grew up, he taught all of these lessons. His lessons were about being kind and helping others. But one of his lessons was about baptism. Now, the one thing that we want you to know, boys and girls, is that baptism doesn't wash away your sins. There's nothing special about the water. But I do want to read something from Mark 1.11 about what happened right after Jesus got baptized, okay? So let's open our Bibles to Mark 1.11. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Wow, boys and girls, that really shows us that God loves when we get baptized. He really does. But that's not the point, right? The point is to accept Jesus in our heart forever and ever. Baptism doesn't wash away your sins. Baptism is what you do just to show your friends and family that you have accepted Jesus and you're so proud to be doing so. Now, boys and girls, we're going to go to this video. This might explain it just a little bit better. It's time for our Bible story. Today in our Bible story, John the Baptist introduces everyone to the Savior, Jesus. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that was a big deal. You bet it was. Do you remember what John was doing? He was telling the people about Jesus. And? And baptizing them. You got it. John the Baptist baptized people in the river and taught about forgiveness. He taught people to say I'm sorry. Yes, John told people they needed to tell God that they were sorry for disobeying God. Just like water washes away dirt on the outside, God's forgiveness washes away sins on the inside. So John forgave everyone's sins? No, only God could forgive sins. All John could do was tell people how they could get ready in their hearts. John told the people that the Savior was going to be so much more powerful than he was, and the Savior could completely forgive sins. We're still talking about Jesus, right? Still Jesus. So when Jesus was ready to do the work God sent him to do, he started out by being baptized by John too. But I thought Jesus was more powerful than John. That's what John said. John couldn't believe it. Jesus, the Son of God, who had no sin, wanting to be baptized by him? But Jesus did it because he wanted to obey God. He knew it's what God wanted. That's so cool. When John baptized Jesus, the sky opened up and God spoke and said, You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Wow. When that happened, the people knew that Jesus was God's son and he had come to save everyone. The Savior who could forgive sins was finally here. Wow, boys and girls, wasn't it awesome that John the Baptist got to baptize Jesus? Now, Jesus was perfect, right? 
He sure was. Do you think he had to get baptized? No, but he did it because he wanted to lead the way for all of us, right? So let's get to our Bible verse today. We're in John 14, 6. So big number 14 and then little number 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We're back for my very favorite part, the object lesson. Now, our big idea today is we can know forgiveness through Jesus. Let's say that together. We can know forgiveness through Jesus. Good job. Well, so what does forgiveness really look like? What is forgiveness, right? I can forgive someone for hurting my feelings. I can forgive someone for taking something that it was mine, right? But God forgives us on such a bigger level, right? So maybe I'm bullied, right? And so I'm carrying around this fear, right? This fear of, of being bullied or, or maybe um, from somebody taking something from me. I'm carrying around all this bitterness. Now, it would be really, really hard for me to wrap my arms around this and open up a book and read it. It would be hard for me to tie my shoe with this around, right? Carrying around all that bitterness, fear, all of this maybe sin would be really hard, right? But when I accept Jesus into my heart, which is the only way to true forgiveness, then all of this is just gone away. Isn't that amazing? That now look at all the things I can do. I can easily open a book. I can read. I can tie my shoe. But that's not the point, is it? The point is that with forgiveness with Jesus, I'm going to be much happier. I'm going to feel so much better because I'm going to have the joy from Jesus in my heart. I'm going to have true and amazing forgiveness. Do you guys get it? Yeah, don't, don't carry around all of this, all of this weight, all this, this bitterness and all this sin. Just ask Jesus into your heart to forgive you and he'll come in there and he'll make you new like you were before. Now, boys and girls, the step after forgiveness, after you ask Jesus into your heart, is baptism. Now, baptism doesn't wash away all of your sins. It doesn't do what Jesus does through forgiveness. It is just a declaration, or in another word, it is just a statement of saying, I have accepted Jesus. And you do that in front of all of your friends, all of your family, and most importantly, you do it to show God, I am so proud to be in your big family. All right, boys and girls, that's all we have for you today. I'm so thankful that we're in this brand new series together and learning all about forgiveness and all about how to follow Jesus. See you guys next week. Bye.